Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, let's do another quick alchemy tutorial just so we can get more and more familiar with it. Um, I've got an instance of alchemy here on this instrument track. Uh, all I did was, let's just take it off here. I just created a raw instrument track and on the instrument slot here I just loaded in an alchemy. I didn't load a preset from the library or anything. So I get a raw instance of alchemy on my channel for my instrument track. And then I've got a little two bar pattern here, look, with four notes. Each note lasts half a bar. So half a bar, half a bar, half a bar, half a bar. Like that. Okay, let's do something. Um, let's initialize alchemy. And we've done, we did this before. So we know when we initialize the preset, we get a single source working, and that source is running a simple sawtooth oscillator. So I'm going to lower the oscillator level down, put the unison up to eight part unison, and then I'm going to copy this slot, copy this source, and paste it into the other four slots. Paste, paste, paste. So now we have four source slots, all running an eight. Uh, an eight-part unison sawtooth oscillator. All right, let's uh, tune them differently. Uh, leave this one at its default. Let's tune this down an octave. Tune this up an octave, and tune this up two octaves. Okay, so they do tune now differently. So all four source slots are feeding through the filter here, which is doing nothing, but they're feeding through it. And then into the master section here. So I'm going to um, tune the whole thing down. So the entire sound is tuned down. Rather than tuning each oscillator down, I'm just going to tune it down the whole the whole sound, the whole patch I'm going to, I've created so far. I'm going to tune it down another octave on the master tune here, so it's down deeper in bass territory, right? Alrighty, so look, we've got a filter here. So, let's do this, let's get the cutoff of the filter here, select it, here's the modulation, the target is the filter one cutoff, and we're going to modulate it with the LFO. So the sine wave LFO, it's at a speed of quarter beats because sync is on and it's straight up the middle vertical. So it's at quarter beats. So if we give it a bit of positive depth, as I add the depth, you see the orange line extending out either side from the center frequency the cutoff is pointing to. Right? Yeah. Which means that when the LFO begins to modulate this filter, it will modulate up to the highest orange amount, down to the lowest orange amount, and cycle around like that, right? So it's going to wobble this filter now, this LFO, at a speed of quarter beats. All right. Okay, let's do something. Um, but the speed here, I want to control it. I want to jump between different speeds of LFO. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this rate control and assign it to the MIDI performance control number one, which is this one here in the performance area. See that number one part? MIDI perform control number one. This now controls the LFO rate. Right, control one is controlling the LFO rate. Now, if I give the depth, if I start pushing the depth up positive, the orange line pushes out from the current setting for the rate of the LFO, which is set straight up the middle at 12 o'clock to quarter beats. So if I push out full depth positively, as far as I can go, then this control now is controlling the LFO rate, and it can control it from the lowest setting, which is the lowest orange amount there, which is at quarter beats, straight up the middle, quarter beats, right, all the way up to the highest possible sync speed this will go to, which is 128th triplets, but we don't want it to go that far. So we're going to reduce this depth right down. Look at the orange line coming down. So now there's less range available to this pot. 
right? Because it can this pot now, this control pot, this performance pot, is controlling the range of this LFO speed from 12 o'clock up only that much, because we're using very little depth. Only that much range is available. So it will now work up from quarter beats up to 16th triplets. That's still too much, so I'll lower the rate um, the the depth a bit more. Now it goes up to 16th triplets, still a bit high, a little bit less depth. 16ths, a little bit less. 16ths, a little bit less depth. 16th dotted. Now it goes up to 8th triplets. So the, this control here is controlling the rate of the LFO from 12 o'clock up as far as this orange line goes. So up from 12 o'clock, quarters up as, as far as 8th triplet there, but it can't go any further. We're going to lower this down actually to half speed. Now it goes from the beginning of the orange line, half speed, up to 8th dotted. It's a little bit more depth, it's a little bit more depth. Now it goes up 8th, a little bit more depth. A little bit more eighth triplet. So this control now controls that orange range. The LFO speed from where it is at the beginning of the orange there, where the where the rate is actually pointing to, half speed, up to as far as the top of that orange line, which is only around as far as eighth triplets. But it does every value in between, halves, then it goes up to quarter dotted, then quarters. Then quarter triplets, then eighth dotted, then eighths, and finally eighths triplets. It covers the whole range from halves up to eighth triplets, from halves up to eighth triplets. But I don't want all of those values, right? So this is going to work, this control part controlling the speed here is going to work through mod map one. I only want to be able to select three values with this control bot. Half speed, quarter triplet, and eighth triplet. So I only want three steps. So on my x-axis here, I'm going to choose three steps. And the total amount of values available to me across the entire range of this control is half, one, quarter dotted two, quarter three, quarter triplet four, eighth dotted five, eighth sixth and eight triplet seven so on the y-axis up and down i'm going to choose seven intervals so down at the bottom here that'll be the lowest value half speed and up at the very top it'll be the highest value eighth triplet okay and then we've got three steps working across so i want this control to have three different steps so at the bottom it'll be halves Right, then it's going to go up and then up again. So three steps. Now we just adjust the steps up and down. So at the bottom, the, the first travel of the pot, the first third of the travel of the pot, one, two, three, from lowest up to full clockwise, is the lowest value, half speed. Then we move up the pot and it'll jump up to this next level here which is quarters, that's not enough. I want it to go up again to quarter triplets. So it jumps from half here, whoops, half there, here. And as we push up, it jumps up through the other values, missing them out and jumps straight up to quarter triplets there. And then the next step up, we're gonna go up to eighth triplet at the top. Eighth triplet. So this has got three values now. Half, then it jumps to quarter triplet, then it jumps to eighth triplet. All right, so this now will give me three different LFO speeds. One, two, three speeds. Missing out all the ones in between. This one, that one, and that one. Half speed, quarter triplet, eighth triplet. So if I put this here, I get half speed LFO wobble. Push it up to the next step, I get quarter triplet. 
push it up to the next one, it jumps to eighth triplet. All right, and now I can mess with that in my pattern. All right, so now we go to the pattern here, bring in the MIDI control. Oh, and first, let's name this performance part. Let's call it Wobble. That's my wobble amount, right? Bit of drive on the filter. Okay. So now, that's the wobble control, controlling the speed of my LFO, right? With three steps. So down here, I go here. Alchemy. Performance, because... I've assigned the LFO speed to a performance control here, performance control number one. So, Alchemy, Perform, Wobble. And now I can put in my, my steps. All right, so there's a half. So let's start off on a quarter triplet. Then we'll drop down here to a half. And then we'll go up here to an eighth triplet. Then for the final note there, we're going to drop back down to a quarter triplet again. All right. So these are just the three steps of this control pot here, controlling the speed of the LFO, wobbling the filter. Here we go. And that's causing this LFO speed to just jump. See where the little ball is on the orange line from the lowest amount. So it starts on the second highest amount or the third highest amount, whatever, the quarter triplet. Then it drops down to the lowest amount, half, then jumps up to eight triplet and back to quarter triplet. You see a little white ball jumping around as it changes the rate. <laughs> Now once you've got the wobble being changed to different speeds, you can mess with your filter. Whatever you like. So let's put some filter moves in as well, because we can move the overall filter setting around while it's being wobbled. So this is the filter cutoff. So we go up here, alchemy, filter one, cutoff, and we can put in filter moves to work with those changing steps. Okay, so once you're in this controller area down here like that, and this is the activated window, you can do command Y and cycle around any available controllers in the region. So that's my steps of my speed of wobble for each note. That's my velocity for notes, and I'm going to put in one more controller. The Alchemy Filter 1 cutoff, and let's give it some different filter settings. So uh, we'll start off with the soft filter down there. Then when it switches to half speed, we'll, we'll step back and then rise up for the end of that half speed cycle, because the LFO is modulating this single note, one full cycle, because it said at half speed for this note, and this is a half, this is a two quarter beat half bar length note. So it'll filter up, down, and back up again across the entire length of that note. So at the end of it, it's sweeping up the cutoff. Then we'll drop to a softer filter setting for the third note, doing eight triplets. Not quite as low as that.
Yeah, easy peasy, right? And then let's um, the filter after the filter. There's this effect send going out to the main effects bus, but there's nothing on the effects bus here. So let's put on a distortion and give it a bit of tube. <laughs> Just to blend a bit of that in. Once you've set all this up, you can change your filter. You can change it to any of the other filters. Yeah, and it just keeps doing it. Oh, whatever you like. Um, my overall filter move here. If I just, if I grab all those, come on. If I grab all those, I can adjust all the filtering down, just make it overall softer, overall edgier. <laughs> There you go. Easy peasy, right? So you yeah, you're understanding it. So the filter is being controlled by the speed by this LFO. And the speed of that LFO is being controlled by performance control one through this mod map. So this performance control just has three steps between the three speeds of the LFO that I want. Now additionally, I could assign this control pot that's changing the speed of my LFO wobble to a hardware controller and I could switch these speeds on the fly as I listen to the music. To do that, all I've got to do is go to my smart controls, right? It just won't be on, the edit won't be on, and you get everything here. You get your, your performance controls. There's the control pot that I assigned to do the speed of the LFO. So all I have to do is uh, bring in the edit and there's the wobble control. If it's not there, it'll be on the other panel here. Select it, click learn and move a, a, a control pot on my hardware controller and that will then be mapped to that control. So I can move that hardware control and just switch between those three speeds of LFO, halves, quarter triplet, and eighth triplets. I just on the fly go from whatever I like, whichever order I like, and work out what sounds good and then record it in and whatever I like, yeah. Let's try with a bit of drums. Etc. And uh, there you go, there's some more stuff you can do while we're using the mod map and one of the um, performance controls, etc., to change the LFO speed that's wobbling the filter. Uh, so we can do different, you know, dubstep y speeds of wobble on different notes of our pattern. Yeah. Right, I hope that's useful. See you for the next one.